It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC West. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the LA Chargers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? Two-minute drill? Maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Southern California. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They'll be led out by a fifth-round pick in the 2019 draft out of North Dakota State. It's Easton Stick. Brandon, I know he isn't at the status of some of the elite names in this league, but I do know he's an absolute fighter because he's heard all the criticisms. He's read the articles that say he isn't good enough to be the starter, and he absolutely does not care. All he wants to do is prove every doubt or wrong and show that he belongs in this spot. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. More from L.A. in a moment. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now Stick. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Pretty move. Pass hauled in by Johnston. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. A fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. 
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Toney. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Tackle made by Eric Kendricks. They work now on second and nine. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A good scheme and an early win for this pass rush. They got back there before he could work through his entire progression and ended that play early. So Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. Fielded just inside the 30. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10 at the 40. A shotgun throw for Stick. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Second and 10. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. But now he appears to be in some pain. More from L.A. in a moment. play action it's stick he's got the tight end Vanette. so he'll be stopped here for no gain and it'll be second down pass complete but no gain no yards yeah so you file that as unsuccessful yeah you do don't you except on the stats throwing the ball you get a completion you get a catch yeah but still no, no yardage okay They'll throw on second down his stick. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. 
Stick back to pass. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. start the drive here with Pacheco and that to the 30 it'll be second down give credit to the defense for stringing that play out and they gave up no cutback angle you know he was trying to dart through no place for him to go a nice job there only giving up a three yard gain and they'll come up second and seven play action now it's Mahomes it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That is caught. Nifty move side of midfield at the 45. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice... But I think the ball's out, and picked up by the Chargers. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. The Chargers ready to take over. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second... Run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you play. give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Mahomes now to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And again, it's Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that Tucker will be in gone? 
Makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. Man open. It's Tony. He's got it. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Kadarius Toney, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's Kadarius Toney who caps things with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Here's Stick on first and 10. Finds Johnston. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. First carry now for Joshua Kelly, the former Brewer. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Stick looks to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Chiefs are going to take over at their own 41. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. 
That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It's Khalil Mack that time, shooting in there to get him to the ground. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes, that'll be caught. It's Tony. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 14. A gain there of 21 yards. On that catch, he's already eclipsed 100 yards here in the first quarter. Charles, he's on base for over 400. And playing with great confidence, isn't he? I think he probably had it coming into the game. And now that he's really come out of the gate this strongly. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Butker on for the PAT. And it's good. And they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Keeps himself upright. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here. Second and three. Now Calais running left. Nice move with the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Just need a yard here, second and one. Stick from the gun. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. 
And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. The throw over the middle, taken in, and he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Now stick. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. And, partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards that time. Here's Mahomes to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 33. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. As they've got it as we resume action. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Eric Kendricks in on the tackle. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Chargers' 24-yard line. Second down and a yard. To throw, it's Mahomes. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Boy, that's the kind of interception that can save a game right there. They're already down two scores. Huge play, slowing down what was going against them. I was thinking the same thing. You get down three scores there at this stage, could be in for a long ball game. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter, they've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Yeah. 
From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Here's Stick looking to throw. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And this offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good, and that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first down. First and 10, Stick. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Here's second and ten. Stick back to pass. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And all the way in for the Charger touchdown. Josh Palmer, 56 yards. And the Chargers have cut it back within a score. Maybe that is the boost that this offense needed. They did nothing the entire half, but out of the blue comes this big shot here. You're exactly right. Like a dunk in basketball, like a home run in baseball, maybe a solo shot. Sometimes you need that big play to get things ignited. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Josh Palmer. Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Here's Pacheco once again. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Mahomes now on first down. And that one caught by Rice. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. 
Rasheed Rice, 29 yards. And the Chiefs have taken a two touchdown lead now. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Butker now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And the Chargers offense back out and ready to go. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits. So you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. And I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Here's Stick on first and 10. His throw incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Stick looks to throw. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll set up to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Now a give running left is Eckler. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, it's Stick. Oh, no, and that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. Here's James returning. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. KC's offense ready to take over, and they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Now a swing pass, it's Edwards Alaire. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. <laughs> the 
From the 35, here's second and a couple. They'll swing this out to Tony. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And now that sets up third and two. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. A 45-yard punt, four there on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive, first and 10. They're going to go play action now with Stick. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball. But I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can. And that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Give him 12 yards there. The Chargers have a first down. Once more, here's Eckler. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. They'll try the right side with Eckler. a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Well, coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. Third down, they'll throw with stick. And he'll be brought down first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 21. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. 
And that's now the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. They've had a very solid first half. And as we near the end of that first half, they're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan on offense, you put together what you think is going to be the best possible scenario, right? Hey, we're going to score. These are the plays that are going to do it. But you also put together your counters, meaning after they make adjustments to what you're doing, what do we have to go to next? The adjustment to the adjustment. Exactly. So I can't wait to see if we come out of the half how they're going to go about doing things. Do you just keep running what you ran before, or do you go to your counters expecting those adjustments to happen? Before that, we'll see the end here this first half. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Mahomes going to throw. Throw left side, complete to Tony. Two yards on the pickup there. And now two yards to go on third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. No surprise to see his sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Another catch for Valdez Scanlick. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and five. To throw, it's Mahomes. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantlick. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Mahomes to throw once more. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Mahomes to throw on second down. That'll be caught by Rice. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Complete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so he wisely just gets rid of it. 
So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. to So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime report. In that first half, it was a veteran quarterback who led the charge. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. Taken at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow, they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten.
delayed game offense. You can't do that. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Now Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. That'll go for a gain of seven. And third and eight now. Number 19, Kadarius Tony. A gain of seven yards. And it's third and down. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal. But you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. Pacheco, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Once more, it's Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. No CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they look like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4 fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. The drive will start with an option going left. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. So when the call came in, zone read, go to your left. I don't think the offense saw the play ending up quite the way that it did. The one thing you always have to keep in mind, when you run the zone read, if it doesn't go well, you lose yardage. Exactly what we just saw there. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. Now stick. Being chased out left. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed 10. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. 
Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. James now to return. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and out will come the offense as they take over. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second and seven at the 38 yard line. Now here's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. He was brought down by Michael Davis. Brings up second and Second and nine. Throwing now is Mahomes. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. It's a gain of nine. Makes it third and inches. Here's third and a few inches. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. One of the great things about most guys that play on the offensive line is that they have patience and extreme confidence in themselves. This group's gotten pushed around the entire game, haven't been able to move the ball very well. But after picking up a first down, running it there, they'll feel a little bit better about themselves going forward. Mahomes throw incomplete to Valdez Scantling. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This is caught. Touchdown. Rasheed Rice, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have opened the lead up to 30. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger, and Charles... We haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now he'll try to run with this. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. And what a weapon to have when you can use your quarterback as a short yardage runner and pick up first downs. They're going to go play action now with Stick. Underneath pass here to Van Ed. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That'll give them eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And bulldozing his way through. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a charger first. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them and they really embrace him. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And maybe the wrong read there is he's going to go down immediately. That's George Karloftis greeting him behind the line with a big stop. Well, they have had success when he keeps the ball in the option, but not there. I mean, you just saw exactly why many old NFL coaches would say, don't use your quarterback in the running game. Stick looks to throw. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. A gain of eight there on the play, and it brings up third and five now. Here's Stick looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 16. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Second and one at the six-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. Stick back to pass. And it's caught. And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Chargers first down. First 
and goal at the one yard line. Eckler will score. Touchdown, Chargers. Could not block that one any better. Everyone was accounted for, and a great surge by the offensive line. Dicker down to tack on the extra point. And the lead is down to 24. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Chiefs offense set to go. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. So the completion good for just three. And now third down and six to go. Here's Mahomes to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Pacheco gets it and tries the left side. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Sometimes that's a danger putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. Pacheco gets it again on second down. There he goes, left side. And they will finally drag him down at the Chargers 20. A big play there for KC. 46 yards on the ground. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Again, it's Pacheco. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. 
Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Charger defensive unit making their way back out there. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Second and 10 now from the 27. He'll look to throw. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Third down, they'll throw with Stick. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Stick to throw once more. A little short pass. This is Everett. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and two. Again, he'll drop to throw. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. It certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 
Uh, no reason not to try it there. They do indeed convert on fourth. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it. It worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal. So it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They'll drop to throw. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. He'll drop to throw. Throw over the middle, and it's caught by Johnston. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and they'll be facing a third and 12. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. This offense so far on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third down and 12. They're gonna look to throw. Dance into his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now a second and ten. Beckler, they run left side. And he'll get this down only to the 18. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Brings up third down and nine. Off play action, it's Stick. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen them do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 18. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The Chiefs ball carrier. He was taken down at the 22-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. From the 22 now, here's the second down and six. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four yard pickup brings it to third down. And it's third down. Get it. 
Now here's Mahomes. And he is caught. And running with power here. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. There's a beautiful throw there. And he's been sensational the entire game. And moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time. And every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I want him out. They tend to leave him in. First down, Kansas City. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 122 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Second down and six now. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. At the 17 yard line. It's a gain of six. And a first down, Chiefs. So it's a win for the Chiefs here, and no surprise, it was Patrick Mahomes who really led the charge. Yeah, you have to be impressed with the way he ran the show, partner. He was in total control right from the get-go. Finished with over 400 yards passing, four touchdowns. I don't think he could have played a whole lot better than that. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.